I guess we'll have to do a drop test later. Oh, okay. Is that comfortable? Oh. I want to cut your cock off. <laughs> this is so stupid. Kind of on here. Oh dear, I broke it. 632,000 pieces. No, that's just the model number. Wait, that can't be right. I don't even say how many pieces it is. All right, we're running out of time. I added a few more videos before the end of the day. Hopefully you guys can see this one already. Yes. By now, whenever that will be. I don't know when. Anyway, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Freak Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and this is... Sean, AKA The Silver Spleen. And more military stuff for you guys. Yes, someone requested this a while back. Here it is. This is from a brand called Panlos. I have reviewed a couple of them from other sets, other themes. They're actually really good. I was really happy when I put this together. Nice. It looks like it wants to fall apart. It is nothing like the T92 tank. Ah, good. Which you're gonna find out soon. That thing, oh, yeah. So you ready for this? You ready for this review? You guys ready for Sean's knowledge, <laughs> power? So this is Panmos Bricks. T90 main battle tank. Number 632005. For ages six and up. 1,773 pieces. Yes, and part of the Tank World series. All right, my man. Okay. I'm actually talk about this thing. Uh, very briefly, the T90 is a Russian tank. It was originally designed to be a singular replacement for the T62, T72, and T80 Soviet battle tanks, obviously former Soviet Union, and first entered service, oh gosh, I can't remember, unfortunately, but it is a fairly new tank and actually quite a good one. The thing that I notice about this, the thing I always say is, when you look at these, it's always good when you can look at a, a, leg, a brick model and tell exactly what it's supposed to be. And obviously that is the case here. I like the way that they've used the different colors, kind of bring out the camouflage scheme. I actually like that a lot. I was actually really impressed with this build. Yeah. First of all, no stickers on this set. Everything is printed. Good. And like Sean said, the color combos, pretty wild how they're like, kind of did a little bit of green here. And this what, brown, right. tan? Yes, khaki, perhaps. And the other thing to keep in mind, especially if you look at uh, uniforms and things of that nature, camouflage now used to be about curvy lines. Now it's about blocks because it's an attempt to sort of disrupt dig digital photography. I'm sorry, we made a just... friend. Oh. The other thing, speaking of blocks, one of the details I like about this, an advance in, what would we call that? Armored defense is something called ERA, uh, explosive reactive armor. You'll see it on some other tanks as well. It, basically, the outside of the tank is covered in blocks. It's like an ice cream sandwich. It's, it's armor plating with an explosive in between. And the object is that when you get one of these newer anti-tank rounds, if it hits it, the explosion will hopefully set it off before it actually penetrates the hull and makes it more. It's an odd concept to think about covering your tank in explosives to make it safer, but that is apparently what it does. That's interesting. So, These are actually like little gold bars in the other sets, you know? Right, exactly. So now they're they're worth their weight in gold, as it were. The wheels don't actually really turn. They're really tight in here. Uh, so, but you know, if you wanted to like show to your friends, like this thing, it can actually move. Okay. On this kind of surface, it won't do anything with the slide. Yeah. Right. But that's really cool. I like the track. Yeah. I have no problem building this thing. This one was really, really fun to build. There's another panel of tank we're gonna review after this one. Right. And I can tell you guys, Every tank is completely different the way it builds together, mm. and it's just, it's amazing. I like the attention to detail. Uh, it has the, there's your, your commander's 12.7 uh, millimeter, initially designed to be uh, as an air defense weapon. Yeah, the cool thing about this is usually that's like a plastic gun that they just put right there and like, here you go. This one's actually like totally brick built. I'm sure you guys have all the pieces to make this gun, you know? And I felt really happy like they went that direction. It's cool. It's not really a gun, it's just like random pieces put together to make one. Oh, okay, that's good. You have two hatches here. Yes. So we can see on this camera, I'm gonna have to show in the close up. They do open up. There, right. and there. Okay. So you put your figure inside. Ah, uh, yes. Tons of little figures here, look, whoa. Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> okay, so, you know, just for an example, put this guy here, this one here. There you go. See, very nice. And then, yes, this thing can rotate. It might hit on some joints if it's no, not that's, that's good. That's so, really good. So far, it's okay. Yeah, right there, yeah. it's like hitting Catches something. Catches a little bit. Whoop. Yeah, Whoa. but you know, just move some stuff around. And what are these, like missiles on the uh, side? No, no, those are uh, smoke for firing smoke grenades. So. I just thought it was really funny that they use binoculars. These are binoculars sure. as the smoke. But I, I enjoy that sort of thing, where they, they'll, they'll sort of repurpose things. It ends up looking very much like the real thing. T90 first saw service 1992. 
Uh, they've started phasing them out since 2011. Oh. Uh, I believe India has bought some of these, but in general, not a lot of people have. Uh, the, the Russians are now using, I believe it's the T-14. The amount of detail on these yeah. things is crazy. Like, it is so the really nice. Hatch opens up, the sides can kind of move, the headlights, they're all on ball joints. Right. So you can kind of move things here and there. Okay. And they have two containers here. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'll try to open it with my finger there. We have these hatches here. These. Yeah, it comes with this thing. Like, now your soldiers can have a picnic. <laughs> These Russian army air mattress. <laughs> Very, yeah. Anyway, I don't know why they put that in, but that's nice yeah. for change. You're just it's just roll an it interesting up. detail, it's not plastic. The thing I like about this uh, is that there's not a lot of studs visible. Yes, no visible studs. But that does bring me to one thing I was telling Sean about. I was trying to teach Sean about illegal techniques in Lego bricks that you're not supposed to put certain bricks together. There's a rule on the side here and along the top. They're using doors, like the hinges part of the door to actually put onto the little like aircon vents that they use in other sets there, like that. Yeah, those are gonna probably pop off, but so far it hasn't fallen off. You can see them along here as well. Right. The more I look at this thing and the more I'm playing it with you, the more I love this thing. Yeah, like, it's no issues really with nice. It whatsoever. Printing is really cool. It says 18 all over the place. I don't know what that represents. This can actually be pushed in more. But oh, okay, it's, I was it's really like tight. That's all right. I don't know why I couldn't get it yeah. in. It does like go up and down. What's this thing on the back? Would you have to know this? These, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what it is because uh, I didn't get a chance to do as much research as I should have. And, um, and I apologize for not knowing. I should have done better research. You have bailed me. I know, I'm just I kidding. Have. No, I have. They're, they're using like a little piece of like stick that goes in there. It was a little bit short, so it doesn't really uh, hold in place. That was my only thing to really nitpick about it. But it still holds here for perfectly fine. Right. It's just not in between the thing, okay. whatever this is, properly. <clears throat> but it does look very nice. And then the front here, they advertise that this can raise up and down. Now we come to the detail. There's actually a lot of detail, and that would surprise me. I think this is really awesome. I'm going to have to take this top piece off. It sucks, but that's the only way to get to the bottom part. Remove the turret. Uh, uh. Will it come out? Uh, there you go. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we'll and take it stays off. together, which doesn't always yeah, happen. Yeah, right? You can hold it too, sure. and it's not gonna fall off on you. Oh, it's got some weight to it, I like that. It's on a lazy Susan. Here we yes. go, there's the inside. Look at that. Sean was just telling me that all these little things right here in the middle yes. are? Ammunition, most likely. Because it, the other thing, as you can tell, because it's a separate compartment, because it was very important to keep the ammunition in a separate space from the crew, because if, if a round came through yeah, the hull. Yeah, or it set off or whatever. Yes. Not dangerous. Uh, those pieces can pop off really easy. Right. So be careful with that. Mm -hmm. Let me come to the front here. Yeah, this is really cool. It's got detail. The hatch can open up here as well. A little bit tight. But now there is detail on there. Yeah. They actually printed out the dashboards and stuff. You can see like. Oh, that's a map. I would yeah. Guess. I, I, I thought that was a crack, but that is a map inside yeah. there. A map. There's, got, I, I like there's a tile with a printed bag on it. Yeah. Two printed bags. Yes. One on uh, each first side. First aid kit. Yeah. Two first aid kits. And then you have another control panel. It's kind of hard to see. It's like right above the steering. Oh yeah. Real like a like an Iron Man HUD type thing. Ah oh, yes. And I have more panels on the other side. The little meters on there. Mm. And that is really cool. And I love how they designed the seat. They even have a printing on the. That's really cool. Finally, we come to this compartment, which is the just engine kinda, compartment. Yeah, jiggle off there, comes off. Wow, that easy, is really easy. nice. And look at that. That detail on that. Yeah. Doesn't do anything. It doesn't have to. It looks, it looks nice. That's yeah. But as you guys know, I'm not a military guy. I'm not. A, I was never really a fan of collecting these. But building this tank, knowing it's coming from another brand, it's really impressive. Like I'm yeah. thoroughly impressed with this thing. It's amazing. Yeah, and it's right? sturdy. I like that. I mean, yeah, it's a sturdy. Tank. There's the back side. There's nothing worse than a flimsy tank. Well, there's one thing. But... So you know, once that's done, yeah. that's it. There's nothing else. There's no more secrets. I hope I'm not missing anything. The yeah. hatch here does close a little bit tight. You know, it's like. It's better that oh. way though, you know. Yeah, it might be hard to Beats pop the alternative. on or off. Yep. And put this one back here. Here we go. And the turret, simply, it's just a flat piece. It's almost like a modular tank. Take this part, it might be easier. There, like that. Oh, there you go. I just wanted to take the whole Yeah, it's just easier to... Yeah. There, there you go. go. Oh, boop. And then... Slot the sucker on, like that. Boom. Hey, very nice. Cool. You of course, it comes with the minifigures. Yes. Sean. All right. Here you go. Take your time. You tell me about the minifigures. All right. Let's see. Here's one with a lovely blue beret. I like the, uh, I like the detail here. 
Again, this is really nice. The bandana. Thank bandana. you. Yeah, but that, there's a really remarkable level of detail in the printing of the vest. I like the pattern of the sleeves too, like the back, like yeah. it goes all the way around and the this, back. And this is very, again, very sort of realistic uh, approximation of actual Russian camouflage. Really nice. Carrying the classic RPG-7 rocket launcher. That is Gladiator Brick Productions. Very nice. There you go. All right. Next one. Basically, same, he has actually a slight, he has a different vest, which is quite nice. Oh, that's a um, she, by the way. Oh, it's a she. Oh, there's okay. it's just too many. I, I didn't realize until like I really looked at the like the eyebrows and the lips. Right. She's carrying a toolbox. Oh, very actually, a really nice level of detail on the helmet. With uh, I'm assuming that would be probably a flashlight. And I like how they printed like the the earpiece on her head. And I don't know if, if they included any like no, for but, night vision goggle yeah, type the, of thing. They don't have any of those. But again, a really nice level of detail in the printing. Um, what is her actual name? Hazel. Hazel. Hazel, there you are. Hazel, and I apologize for the other, I'm sure it's not like that in real life. So here you go, Hazel, we should put Hazel here. Ah, this one, uh, he's wearing a balaclava, which is not actually a Greek pastry. That's baklava. Carrying what looks to be a PKM, which is again, a, a Russian Soviet design, uh, although still in use. Again, really nice level of detail, and oh, pretty cool. I think I like the, the yes, the base, actually you know, the another yet another design. Really nice printing. He has a very determined look on his face. Again, black gloves, and his name is Slaslovsky. Aha, uh -huh. our military dude. Ah, oh, perfect. No, no one better. With a nice big gun. He can go here exactly. Ah, this this is interesting. I, I don't know if he. I he can't, has no mouth. Yeah, he has no mouth, and I, I think this might be, again, sort of a, a, a Nomex, I believe it's Nomex, like a, a, one of the crew members, he would have this fireproof kind of thing. Really stylish goggles, printed goggles, though. Yeah. Very nice. And also nice texture, matte texture on the helmet, which has very nice etching. Absolutely unique printed vest carrying what would look to be something akin to a Desert Eagle. Yeah, you can change the weapon down. These yeah. Guys. They tried to just follow the manual. And that person is Nathan Speed. Nathan? Nathan? It's time for you to get into some military stuff. Nathan will defy Buy gravity this and sit backwards. I'm just kidding. All right, wait. Last guy. Uh, carrying what looks to be a model of an Indonesian submachine gun, but let's leave this. He's also wearing uh, what we might call the traditional IRA style um, balaclava in olive drab. So his eyes and his mouth, very determined look on his face. And again, unique vest, but still the same nice detail of, of camouflage. And this is Brick Life. Very nice. There you are, Brick Life. Brick Life will go here. All right, you guys. Time to go in battle. Yes. Go win your war. Dun, 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 dun. Of course, it does come with some accessories. Like really? grenades. Yeah, it's the a usual stuff that we rifle. see in all the yeah, other sets. Yeah, it's a very you know? typical sort of thing, but nice. It's a nice grenade. Very cool. Yeah. Pow, just like that. It is dimension time. Boy, this tank is long. It will definitely be on two base plates. So grab yours and just line this up together. But just so you know, from this point into the end here, that is roughly around 51 studs in length. If you want to make that shorter, the cannon piece and put it like that, it'd be around 41 studs in length. Now let's check the width. Okay, now for the width here, from here to here, you're looking at around 16 studs in width. Now let's check the height. Here is my one by four bricks. And you know, I'm just gonna do it from the antenna first so you guys can see. That is 20 bricks in height. But if you only want to check the height from here, you're looking at about 13 bricks in height. There you go, there's your dimensions. So I only just realized after Sean left that I was actually missing a piece here. I couldn't find it. It's all good. Still looks like a tank, right? We're gonna drop test this now. I'm kind of scared for these guys. Yeah. I'm scared for the ammunition inside too. That's true. There, that a good height? Yeah. Man, this thing feels heavy. Very impressive. It held up. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no. Wow. They all stayed intact. This is really well done. Yeah, it's I mean, pretty, cool. it's, pretty it's, wild, right? It gets, to me, I mean, it certainly it seems to get everything right. All right, you guys. So that's it. This is the Panlos T90 tank. It's available on brickmeupscotty.com or, you know, just buy it from wherever you want to buy it. Yes. But you will be very happy and pleased with this Definitely, tank. Definitely, yes. And speaking of tank, we gotta do one more. Come more on, Sean. Tank. We gotta pow out this last one. More tank. Yeah. More tank. All right, you guys. Until next time. Break me out. Break us out. Explosion. Boom. Oh.
Sorry guys. Scotty, why are you taking so long to shoot this stuff? We need to get to the next video. Uh, I'm sorry guys. I couldn't help myself. Hey Sean, what's up? It looks almost like a little robot. Sort of tank, really tank face, yeah. Got a little eyebrows here too. Lift this thing up and be like... Nice. So it has differing expressions. How are you doing? You know, even the old, uh, like the old tank models I used to put together, they weren't really designed to be played with. You just put them together, painted them, and stared at them. Cool. Perfect. Let's go freaking eat.